Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am here to talk about a new drugstore do-it-yourself lash extension at home product that I've just tried out. I've tried two different lash extension products at, that you can do at home and this one is definitely a good one. So I wanted to talk about it and kind of compare and contrast and show you guys how I apply it, tips on applying it, the struggles with it, all of the above. If you guys wanna learn more about a do-it-yourself lash extensions at home product, then please keep watching. So first of all, let's talk about this packaging. Obviously this one is used, but this is the first package that I bought that's called Falscara. It's their starter kit. What comes in the starter kit, since I've already opened it, is the bond and seal, and then also this little wand, the application wand, it looks like this. It's kind of like a lash tweezers, very similar, but I bought that along with their Falscara remover. This is separate. And then also bought a couple of these, which are also purchased separately. These are the volumizing wisps. Again, this came with the lengthening wisps. And then I also bought a backup of the lengthening wisps. Here's what the lashes look like. So I've already worn this set and it lasted three nights, four days, which is huge for me. So I've tried the Lashify lashes. This is what they look like. They come in this little kit here and it comes with this wand, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. And then it comes with the gossamers here. You can buy the gossamers, which are all the same length, whereas these are different lengths. They give you like starting at the inner corner a little bit more tapered to the outer corner, which I really like. And then also comes with a glass, which is more of like a sealer kind of thing and the bond. I actually filmed a video with Lashify. I did a first impression. They did not work for me though. So I never ended up posting it. So this is kind of comparing and contrasting to that. I talk about it as I'm putting the lashes on. Lashify is very pricey. However, there are a couple things that I would stick with for Lashify. So you'll have to keep watching the video to figure out what those are. I'm here to show you guys a tutorial on how I put these on. Tips, tricks, all of the above, the struggles. Also at the end, I will compare and contrast and tell you like which ones I like better, the pros and cons. But let's jump into applying these right now because I'm gonna show you how they go on. So let's go. I cleaned off my lashes. So I just removed them and showered and clean them off with the remover. I still feel some residue on there. So this remover like really didn't get them off too much. Um, I could have used my Lashify remover, but I wanted to use just the one that Kiss had so I can give a full review. The Falscara does not say to put it on clean lashes. It really doesn't say that you should be putting it on before makeup. So I'm still gonna be following the Lashify rules, I guess, when it comes to putting it on before you put a, your makeup on. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the Volumizing Wispies. It's so windy outside right now, if you guys can hear that. It's Wisconsin fall for you. So how these are in here, they're like a little stuck. They're kind of similar to when you take a strip lash off. So you have to be very careful because they have like a little bit of glue on there. Whereas the lash by Gossamers are just like stuck in their little slot. So when you're taking these out, oh yeah, I can see the glue. You have to be very careful and make sure you get all of the lashes. This is what happened. I tried to take it out, didn't get all the hairs, and it ripped in half. And I'm gonna apply these from the outer corner in, and I don't need all of these because my lashes don't need that many. I'm gonna do three or four of them. Not all five, though, it comes with five. So what you do is you take the bond first, and you're gonna put a light coat, very, very light. Here's what the wand looks like, and just a very light coat. More towards the base of the lash, is what we want and i'm only going to do one eye at a time if you put too much it's going to not stick and then this is where i'm going to use my lashify little dryer just because i'm trying to speed up the process then i'm going to start taking the outer one you got to be careful getting those out i'm done <gasps> where'd you it. find this, this? In the back of my truck Oh! Yay! I've been looking for this! My Carl favorite! And Connor and Kelsey! <laughs> I needed oh, this for my next video! Oh my Got goodness. It. My favorite lipstick I just found, well, Connor just found, I've been looking for everywhere. I've texted like my friends, like, did I lose it in your car or like at your house? Love this lipstick. Anyway, back to this. Here is this outer corner one. I like these because these are definitely different sizes versus the uh, Lash by ones. You're getting all the same size in each gossamer. You're just gonna place it right underneath. So this is the struggle I had last time. There's like bond on my wand that I have to clean off because if there's any bit of bond, it's gonna stick to it. That's why I like that Lashify gossamer wand much better. 
So there, see it stuck on much better and then you're gonna go in and go to the base and pinch it together. It just fell off. This was my struggle last time, you guys. I feel like I need more bond, which you're not supposed to, but I think what I'm gonna do is do this instead with the bond. I'm a hot mess over here, guys. Let's try this again. I'm not gonna let it dry and I'm just gonna put it right on. We're gonna see. Uh. This was my struggle the first time I put it on. The Lashify ones go on so nicely. Okay, so see that? And then pinch. One on. Now I'm gonna make sure to clean off the wand before I do my next one, otherwise it's gonna cause some issues. The struggle is real. Okay, so we're gonna take the next one out. I'm just, I really hate that you have to pull these off of a glue. I'm just gonna do this so you guys can see what I'm doing, but you can overlap it or you can put it right next to it. You don't want this to be to touch your waterline. You want it right above your waterline. Otherwise, you will have issues. I promise. That one went on way better. It's probably because the glue was a little tackier. I'm gonna go in and just press them together. Ooh, all right. We're making progress. Gonna clean off and go on to the next one. Oh yeah, that went on so much better. I have three on right now. I cannot do five because that's just gonna be too much for me. So there's two left here. I'm gonna use the most inner corner one because it's got like a little bit more tapering. I'm gonna use that guy instead of the middle one just so it kind of tapers in and gives me that um, wispier look. All right, last one for this eye. Oh, went on beautifully. Honestly, I think I liked the volume of the other ones or like the length, I guess. I guess those other ones were called lengthening. So we'll have to see. So this side is done minus the seal. So you still have the seal part, which is this end. And you just go, it's a little different than the other seal. It's like the same wand. And then you go underneath a little bit. It's supposed to like harden the glue, all of that. I really want to use my... Um, Lashify Gossamer Wand. The design is just a little better. It is the shape of your eye. You rest, like this part right here, rests on your cheekbone, and you go like this, and look at that. And then I could also, I can try to give this like an upward volume with that. Oh, that helped, that definitely helped a little bit. And I have no mascara on anywhere else. I'll put, uh, once I do my makeup, I'll put mascara underneath too. Another thing with this guy is you can use it this way and I like to get like this outer corner and really pinch in there. And as I go and put them on, I'll usually do that. This is straight up metal. This has this little silicone kind of piece that helps clamp them together without there like being any buildup too. So I feel like this is a really, really good design. Here's one eye. But let's put on the second eye. So I'm gonna start with bond again. I don't have to go as far in the inner corner for this one. Now I'm barely touching the lashes too, like very lightly going in. I'm gonna start with this outer one. I am gonna dry just a little bit and then we are going to apply. Oh yeah, that stuck on perfectly. I don't know what was going on in the beginning. I probably just didn't put enough on. And you can take these little guys and kind of bend them a little bit, make them fluffier, or also like bend them to a little bit more of a, a rounder shape for your eye lid. Nope, nope, it's not sticking. Went too low at first on that waterline and I don't want to touch that waterline. And you will be in pain if you get it on that waterline. Cause basically what it's gonna do if it's on that waterline is it's gonna be rubbing the inside all day and it's very, very uncomfortable. Okay, next. Ooh, see this side looks a little more voluminous. Last one, we're gonna use this guy. I don't have the patience for the other one and last time it took it my one of my lashes right off. You can use the one that comes with it, obviously. You can buy this from Lashify too. It's obviously gonna take quite a few times. I'm used to this because I've done Lashify, but when I first started Lashify, it took me, I think one time took me an hour to apply them all and it's extremely frustrating. But with Lashify, it was more frustrating because they came off within a day. But if these are gonna last, at least three to four days, then I'm good with it. Oh, I have to do the seal still. Underneath. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and then be back and I'll show you what it looks like with makeup on. So, be right back. Okay, all done with makeup. These are the lashes. 
I think they turned out really good. The lengthening ones lasted three nights overnight, four days, three and a half days, I guess I would say, which is huge. Lashify, I don't think I've ever fully been able to go through a full night's sleep with all of them on. I've had to reapply like the outer ones because they've fallen off, but I've showered every single day. I mean, I didn't wash my hair or anything, so like I didn't need to get my face like fully wet. I just think so far I'm loving these over Lashify. However, this guy is a game changer. So I feel like this is gonna be better to keep the lashes on. So I'd suggest buying this. I will link it down below. Otherwise, give it a try with the other one, but I just, this like silicone cover is a game changer. And I know I shouldn't even be telling you to do this because Lashify like goes after influencers for using their wand with other um, lashes. So I shouldn't even be saying this, but I feel like you should be able to use whatever beauty products, however you want, whatever tools, however you want to use them. I can't afford to be spending as much money as Lashify is. Like they're not, they're not cheap. So these are really affordable for a drugstore brand. You know, Kiss is a great brand. Do they have some things they can improve on? Yeah, I think that like having these be so fragile, so you have to be very careful because they are stuck to a little bit of glue. I don't love the wand. The wand could definitely use something like this silicone tip, but I know that the, no one can really recreate this because they have patented this type of wand. I like the bond and seal. I've had no issue with that. These are super affordable. I like how they come in these little packs. I wish that they had more to choose from. I wish they had different like, um, where Lashify has like a ton of different lengths and volumes and all of that. I just wish that this had a little more lift for me because my lashes just go like straight out. But other than that, like, I think, I think it's pretty good, but I'm going to give you an update. I'm going to show you guys the next couple days. Like as I'm waking up, I'm going to get on here and show you guys what they look like after sleeping and everything. And I'm a face sleeper too. I sleep right into the pillow, either on my face or on my side. And with Lashify, at least the outer one would be like in my bed the next morning. I'm not saying anything bad about Lashify. I just think that this is a, a more affordable option and works for me. I've worn contacts with these too and they're not irritating. A Lashify I don't think was irritating with my contacts either, but lash glue for like strip lashes irritates my contacts when my eyes have the contacts in them. Oh, and also with glasses, I can still wear my glasses over these. They're not like poking. I have big enough glasses though. Uh, they're not like poking into them. So this is officially day one of having them on. So we'll be back with the start of day two. Okay, we're on day two. Woke up and the lashes were all still on still going strong. I showered, did my makeup. When I shower though, I try not to completely get my face soaked in the water. I kind of just wash my face around it. If I need to get any makeup off, I'll take like a Q-tip or cotton swab and kind of get underneath and above. That's one thing is that you do get a little bit more makeup build up, but I try not to put a ton of makeup on when I have these lashes on because I just feel like you don't need it basically. Yesterday I did because I was doing some shooting for the blog, but today I'm going just nothing on the lids and just some mascara down below. This is day two. I'll check in with you guys either tonight or tomorrow, depending on how these last. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I just showered and washed my hair today, which means water was going all over my face and got in my lashes. When I got out, one of these was kind of like coming off just a little bit. So I just pulled it right off. The one next to it from pulling that one off kind of came off a little bit too. So I just took them both off, let them dry because they were very wet, did my makeup, and I'm going to plop those back on. This is where I had the issue with the Lashify bond, I should say. I'm going to go back in with the bond and what I'm gonna do is just go right where those missing pieces are and then I don't have my little dryer out so I'm just gonna air dry it and then we're gonna go in Oh yeah, sticks right on. Okay, so with Lashify, I had such a hard time trying to get them to re-stick and I'd end up pulling them all off and it was game over. I'm gonna use this now to clamp it because the other one just doesn't work as well. One thing I did yesterday, I went in with a curler. You gotta be really gentle but get all around the lashes and then just curl them gently. But look at how much more that gives me. This is day, beginning of day three. I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow with hopefully these lashes still on. So we'll see, see you tomorrow. Good morning, we're on day three and I just did my makeup but wanted to show you guys what the lashes look like. This outer corner is like a little lifted from me smushing my face into the pillow and then this one is also. It will still probably stay for the day but what I'm gonna do is just take a little bit of the bond and I'm just gonna put it right underneath let it dry and then taking the 
lash if I want. I'm just gonna move it in a little bit and then clamp it. it. Should still stay, but like I just wanna fix it a little bit. So just move that outer, cause that outer corner is gonna be a little loose and clamp it. You can do this with the other wand too. That's day three. So we're still going strong. We'll see, hopefully we last through day four. So I'll see you later. All right, we're on day four and we're still going strong. I even um, used the lash curler today, but they are about to come off, but they stayed on overnight. My face was like fully in my pillow almost all night last night and I slept terribly. So I'm just shocked that I'm, they are still on. We're gonna keep going. I think, I don't know, looking at it, I feel like tomorrow I need to take them off because I need to clean them. And then also like they're kind of going this way instead of like out now. And I wanna try the, loom, uh, the lengthening ones again. I don't know, so far so good, you guys. We're doing good on day four, I'm just shocked. So I'll check in with you guys probably tomorrow morning. Okay, I just woke up and I'm gonna take these lashes off. Honestly, they might have still lasted another day. They're not coming off, but they're just all wonky. You're supposed to use the remover to take them off, but I'm just gonna pull them and show you guys what it looks like. Very wonky. So we do not keep these. After, what today? Today would be day five. There would be so much buildup, and you wanna be careful with that because too much buildup can cause issues with your lashes, and we don't want to destroy our lashes. They come off fairly easy. I'm not yanking them. They're not pulling at my lashes or anything like that. You just do them really slow. So I'm going to go use this and then jump in the shower and then start over again. I'll probably give them like a day and then I'm going to do the uh, lengthening wisps next. I'll come back and show you them when I put them on and then that'll be the final video just so you can see the difference. I'll see you guys once I do that. So I took off my lashes the other day and I just put on the lengthening lashes. So those are the original lashes that came in the original kit that I got. The one I tried before starting this video and I can honestly say I like these much better. I also curled my lashes before putting them on and it helped so much. I don't know if you guys can see, but it did help. I still feel like these could be a little bit thicker in my opinion, like they just still look very natural, but I still like them. It definitely is a difference even though it doesn't look like I'm re really wearing lashes. It's a difference for sure when I have one on versus the other. And I love it when I don't have makeup on and these are on. It just makes me think that I have my lash extensions back, which I miss so much, but they're just so expensive and with the pandemic and me living in Wisconsin it's just really hard to justify going. Final opinion if I had to choose between this and Lashify I would choose this. However, I'm gonna have some pros and cons and I'm gonna actually have a blog post down below that's gonna have the pros and cons comparing Lashify with these. Overall I would choose this first and I don't mind the bond and seal. I like the bond and seal but this tool from Lashify versus this tool from Kiss. If I had to choose, I would choose this. This worked wonders on putting the lashes on, getting them adjusted on there and everything. This, not so much. This guy is helpful to dry the glue right when you put it on. And then here's the little case. So I wish that the Falscara ones came with a case or something to like store your lashes in. Not your lashes, but like your seal and bond and your tool comes with the bond and seal here. I love the glass because it's basically what the seal does for falscara but it has this little applicator right there and clean up any excess residue and it's gonna like solidify the glue again I know lashify is like against people using their wand with other lashes but as I've said I feel like we can use we should be able to use whatever we want, but this tool is definitely a game changer. I think I need to try the Falscara lashes with the Lashify glue and see if it's the glue or if it's the lashes. I know people that use Lashify and it works so well for them. It just doesn't work for me. I've tried several different times, several different ways. My eyes have trouble with a lot of things though, so like my eyes just didn't like them. So that being said, I think that's gonna end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you're still sticking around. If you are, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're notified each time a new video goes live. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I want to hear what you guys have to say and if you've tried any of these lashes, let me know. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.